Hello friends on YouTube, this time I've got a video about pinch harmonics. So what about pinch harmonics? What are they? Well basically pinch harmonics are the same as normal harmonics. And what are normal harmonics? I see you asking. Well it's very easy. An harmonic is just basically without pressing the string onto a fret you want to get a higher pitch. So how do you do that? Well, you use your finger as the fret. When you want a higher pitch, you place this hand somewhere on the neck. For example, the 12th fret on the A string. And because you place your finger, your fret finger, as we call it right now, in the middle of the string, you divide the string into two waves because this part waves up and down, this part waves up and down. You divide the string in two parts, so you have to do the frequency of this string, which is 440 hertz, times two. So you get 880 hertz. You can also divide the string into three pieces. What you get then is 440 hertz times three, because you have three waving parts. So 440 hertz time, times three is 1320 hertz, hertz, and that's an E note. So that's on the seventh fret. That's an E note. That's on the nineteenth fret. You get the same note, and that's because from the nut to the seventh fret, from the seventh fret to the nineteenth fret, and from the nineteenth fret. The, uh, to the bridge are three equal length places on this string. You can see that on a nice paint thing I'm going to make right now here. You can see the string is vibrating into three equal waves. You can go even higher and by going even higher means you make the part that fits in the string smaller. So you can also go to the third fret. You get an even higher pitch and that's because this part fits around five or six times in this string. So six times 440 hertz which means an even higher pitch. If you fit the part like seven times or eight times or ten times in a string, you get even higher hertz. And that's what happens with a pinch harmonic. You hear the extreme high pitch. That's because this part fits a lot of times in a string. You use your thumb, that's very close to your pick, to make the harmonic. So, when you hit the string, you harmonic the string somewhere around here with your thumb by just pressing slightly on it. So you hit the string with your pick and after the hit you press on the string with your thumb somewhere around here and you get a high pitch because you divide the string into multiple parts. And that's how you get a pinch harmonic. Use your thumb to make the harmonic. And by making an harmonic, you basically make a virtual fret down here, which is your thumb. Your thumb is the fret, it's a very high fret, and that's why you get a very high pitch. I hope this was helpful for you, because now you know how Lamb of God does it, how Slipknot does it, how an awful lot of bands do make those high squeaky notes. The only thing is, you cannot expect from yourself that you just are a perfect pinch harmonic player. Now you know the trick, because you have to develop some kind of feeling in it. I mean, I'm still developing in it because, I mean, you have to press with your thumb a very small, like a fraction of a second. And if you do it too long, you the, the, the string will die out, because you press too hard and it will just not give the high, the high pitch. If you press too short, it doesn't have any effect. Uh, 
and you also have to find out the right place because a lot of people say you have to pinch on the fifth fret because Lamb of God does it too. Yeah, it's true, but you can get entirely different pitches by placing your thumb on different places on the string. Because placing it here will give you probably a higher pitch than placing it here. So you have to find the right place to make the pitch. And that's for every fret different. I mean, if you play here, this can be the sweet spot for the thumb. But if you play here with your fret on, uh, with the third fret on the A string, this can be the sweet spot. So you have to find that and you have to get the feeling for that. And it's really difficult, I mean it's not the easiest part of playing guitar, but now you know how to do it and now you can just try it. Every day you have to practice it a bit and then you will get good. Have fun. <laughs> Kind of good. See you around.